Hi, I'm Brad Kubin, Editorial Director of Metal Forming Magazine at the Precision Metal Forming Association. This is our four on the floor segment at Fabtech. I'm here with uh, Jim Finnerty. Jim is the product manager with Winters Controls Group. Jim, thanks for joining us today. Hey, Brad, good to see you. So Jim's going to share some insights into uh, the market, the metal forming market, and then talk a little bit about some of the newest technology from Winchester Controls Group. So you ready? I'm ready. All right, so your first question, Tim. Talk about how Winchester has adjusted to market conditions in terms of developing new technology. Well, one of the market conditions we had to adjust to, and this is one we didn't see coming and didn't expect, was the shortage of skilled labor, and also people working remotely. So what we've done with our flagship product is we've introduced a lot of connectivity features that allow people to access the control from, uh, from any remote desktop or, or, or uh, mobile device. So it allows subject matter experts access to the machinery, access to the programming, to take care of any issues, answer any questions, uh, on, and, and provide uh, you know, the service that they need without having to be in the facility. And that shortage of skilled labor, that's... It really is, and it's, we didn't see it coming, and uh, fortunately we were able to develop some, some, pro some features that help, help us to, to counteract it. Excellent, okay. So, in terms of uh, evolving after the sale customer support, yep. based on these market conditions that, that you're talking about, whether it's the sh shortage of labor or others, talk about the after sales support, including operator training. Well, a couple of things. As you know, I do a dye protection clinic and I've been doing it for years. Yep. I always did that live. It's a six hour clinic. We split it up into three two hour se uh, sessions that I do over Zoom now. And we've taken a lot of our training, operator training, smart pack training, and uh, informational seminars, and we've been doing them over Zoom or Teams. Everybody's used to it now, so it's really easy. Saves me a lot of travel. Also, another thing, when you talk about after-sales support, a lot of times if somebody is, it get, just gets their first control, they have many application questions, they may have startup issues that they need to work through. Uh, the same technology that allow our customers remote access to the control allows us remote access to the control. Okay. So our subject matter experts, our service people, our tech support people, our trainers can, can work with the customer and help them through their issues. It's almost like being there. Yeah, almost. Yeah. Very good. So in terms of the company's history and your specifically knowledge and expertise that you guys provide, what, what, what do you want metal formers and fabricators to know of, about that, the history of, of Winters and the expertise that you provide? Well, Winters Controls has been in business since the mid-1950s when our founder, George Winters, patented the first electronic dye protection system. Um, he had a, something like 200 patents to his name to everything like, um, you know that thing that kids have when you tip it upside down, it makes the moo sound? Oh, yeah. pat he patented that. Okay. That's a George Winters patent, you can look it up. But there were a lot of small stamped parts in those items, and he was crashing dies and wanted to figure out a way to prevent dies from crashing. He eventually sold off the toy business went in a, and the stamping business and went into making controls full time. We've been doing die protection ever since. Some of the terminology, some of the drawings he used, we still, we still use today. You can find them on our website. And we've evolved that technology over many years, uh, working with our customers. We get our best product ideas from our customers. Wow, very cool, okay. All right, so last question, Jim. Recent product enhancements, and we talked about this a little bit earlier yep. today, uh, that are helping stampers improve their productivity. Well, we've, with our flagship product, there's enough processing power in there where we were able to add a, a lot of different sensor monitoring types and a lot of capability to our programmable limit switch. And we've taken applications where our customers had to use either a smart relay, relay or a shoebox PLC, and we've been able to take all of that sort of in-house, more or less, simplify it, provide all that functionality and capability. People want to do more with less. You've seen probably seen configurable dies. Yep. We can account for configurable dies much better now. Complex gagging operations, automation off the die or after the after the die, and we're able to sort of bring it all under one roof, make it very easy to use. And for things that we weren't able to build in, we've added um, connectivity, extra Ethernet ports on here, and a very very advanced uh, PLC interface that when our customers have complex automation, we can communicate directly through it uh, to it. Uh, we we'll use our front panel for all the enunciation and programming and we're loading a tool so they end up with just one screen on the press. Outstanding. Lots to talk about. Great. All Thanks right. for joining us. Thanks, Tim. Brad.